We're and we're back here. We're, progressing. we're not live. We're pre-recorded. All right, everybody? <laughs> Time to get into the biggest show of the year, Stranger Things. And we're going to do our top five shows of all time. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about season five and what our theories are and where we think the direction of the show is going. Guys, I want to say something before we start. Maurice is here. For all, for, yes, I am. Maurice is here, a.k.a. Jerry. Uh, <laughs> for, all, for all of my anime fans, the Duffer Brothers, the ones who created the show Stranger Things, are working on, currently confirmed, working on a live action adaptation of the anime Death Note. The ending of season four, Stranger Things. Maurice. Would you like to go first? Yeah. Uh, Stranger Things for me, the, the ending there, I thought it was really good. I gave it I gave it probably a 9 out of 10 on the episode. I really enjoyed that scene, especially with Lucas, with Max. I, I enjoyed the hell out of the scene with Dustin and obviously Eddie. I think Eddie became a character that was kind of slow to start off, and then he <laughs> picked up a lot in the last couple of episodes to the point where I actually started to like him, and I didn't, ended up starting to love him. So Dustin, Eddie... Max and Lucas, to me, they carry the show, uh, not just this season, but especially in the last two episodes, uh, obviously with, uh, along with Eleven. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed the, show, the, the last two episodes. I think it was a, a 9 out of 10 for me. You, you like how it ended, the, like the way the show ended there, wrapping it up? Yep. Yeah, I think that, you know, we definitely know who's going to be the, the main guy in uh, season five. Um, it's definitely going to be Will. Um, obviously, the person who it started with, they're going to end it with. You know, I think that. I'm not sure what they have in play in regards to, to what, in regards to what's going to come out of there and what's going to be the situation in Hawkins, but it definitely is something that I definitely think that Will is going to be huge in the next season and and um, it's going to push to a different level. Yeah, the show's been great the whole time. The writing's been, I mean, incredible. It's been it's been incredible. A plus I, writing. No, it really is. A+ Obi Wan was an A, not the, available. And, and there's one problem there though. I didn't like the last thirty minutes of the show. I I did not like that whole. I mean, I did like when they fought Vecna and they took him down, and you think he's defeated, but he's not. And then they do some cheapy, cheapy, lazy shit like this. Out of nowhere, this writing made no sense. They just do some cheap camera angle where they look down and he's gone. Why is he gone? Anybody explain to me how he's gone? He got shot. It's burnt, an eighties. I'm gonna tree. I'm gonna give this one to my to my my girlfriend. She said that they were doing another 80s reference. If you want to be technical, Halloween came out in 78, but it was like the end when Michael Myers falls and they look out and he's gone. Yes, and they did show them wearing the Michael Myers, Michael Myers. Uh, mask. I understand all that, but <clears throat> come on, man. Like, why are they doing that shit? Like, he fell out of the window and then they look, oh, he's gone. Mm. And you're like, all right, so I mean, oh, everybody's be, celebrating. They're hugging. He ran away. <laughs> he ran away. Fucking go find him. He can't get far. He's been shot up, burnt. So fell out of the windows like so he did a backflip and landed. Does it in Freddy Krueger all the time. So right? you're, you're the a, fuck? You're if a, you pan the camera a little more horizontal, you might see him running down the street. <laughs> what the fuck? You're Catch a, him, go oh, kill him. Yeah, yeah, finish the job. Yeah, but you hide in a dumpster. You're applying, you're applying, like, real life physics to something that's completely. Fictional. I know, but man, that was so stupid. Like, I, I feel like Netflix got in and said, "Listen, um, show's incredible. I think you need to make sure Vecna stays alive." All right. Because the writing up to that point is pretty stupid. And then it's like everybody's celebrating. Why are they celebrating? Nothing's finished. In fact, he won. That's the only he thing. He won. Right the guy yeah, won. Yeah. The bad guy won. He won. Yeah. He got away. He won. And I'm like, all right, so why are they hugging? And yeah, we did it. The only thing they should be hugging about was Hopper and, and Eleven. Everything else was like, fuck, you know, we lost Eddie. Which that's another thing I don't understand. The Eddie thing. I, I love Eddie, too. Yeah. I agree with you. Eddie, why Eddie. He, he, he just, like, started running out there and doing all this and staying there trying to fight them. It didn't make sense. Yeah, the last 30 minutes of the writing, it's like someone interfered with them because how can you go from, like, 100% incredible writing the whole Maybe way through? And the last 30 minutes, it's just like... I, mean, I, I, I didn't understand had a writer's that. blocker, you know? Like no, writer. no, they had to extend it for one more season, which, I, what, what do they say, it's coming out in two years now we have to wait? Uh -huh. These kids are going to be older than... <clears throat> no, they ain't kids no more. That's they're, they're already twenty couple years old. Of them are going to be in college, or maybe <laughs> maybe they actually do introduce it as maybe two years. They're gonna. They're, I heard they're gonna I do a know. time skip, which is another problem because, I mean, who's gonna stay in Hawkins? The Earth's cracked. They're gonna do a, some lockdown in the city bullshit. Government lockdown. Right. You know, sneak out the house to get away and do things. Who? What parent is gonna say, "All right, let's stay here in Hawkins. Everyone will be gone. Like it'll be a ghost town." Mm. 
right? It'll be a ghost town. Military will come in. The that's it. That show over. Still there, actually, is already. W- would you stay there with your daughter if the uh, fucking earthquake happened and the whole world is coming to end in that town? Would you stay there? No, you're out. I See ya. No, I think place, that maybe it's a shithole. Why would I live there? I think they maybe <laughs> realize know. that they need to be there. <laughs> And they come, and and, and that, I think that's certainly going to end up being the story. Is Will's going to get messed up? Maybe they completely leave, and then Will is Will is uh is is mess gets messed up, and then they have to go back to fix it, whatever the case may be. I think he's going to end up being the host body. Oh, that's true. They maybe the make one. them go back. That'll yeah. be. I think I think that maybe I mean, that he's, work. he's probably going to be the host Maurice body. Really knows. And then, but you you're okay Maurice with the way it ended with Vecna? You were cool with that? No, that he just landed out the window. I'm not doing this for sick of arguing. I'm being honest. Like you really did like that. He, uh, boom, he fell out of a three story story. Landed on the fucking assassin. Yeah, but this is this is the thing that I want our audience to to understand. Okay, it's hard for me to really get into science fiction stuff because it's not really what I like the most. So for me, right. I don't mind it. Why would what, what, okay? But if they kill him, if you're if you're there doing the show, they're all talking about that's how they do it. So why would I want to kill him? He's a cool character. Let him get away. Who knows? Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he won't. You know. So um, I just thought the last episode was a little bit too long. It's two and a half hours, man. Not even the, the movie, The Godfather, is two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> so they could have cut some stuff out. I thought when uh, what's his name Hopper sliced off. What the, what's that thing that goes out? Demi Gorgon. De- yeah, the, the Demi Gorgon. It's Demi Gorgon. Or, or? Yeah, no, it's Demi. That's how you say it. Yeah, okay. That's, Maurice knows it all. Um, when he sliced that thing's head off, that was awesome. I love uh, episode eight when they go into the house. The music is awesome. Metallica, the '80s music. Oh, no, they, that was one of the <clears> best <throat> scenes I think. When they, when they put that music, that music is good. Yeah, bro. they hit. They hit like. They, the music's like I said, good, that, the it's like watching good. A, it's like watching a movie the whole time. It really is. It's really incredible. I just, like I said, I only had a problem with the last 30 minutes of the writing. What, I didn't have a problem with the show. I love the show. What makes the, the, the show good, and the ending, there were some issues, is that every character is acted very well, and every character, you have some level of interest in him. Every, As except com- for Will. So, I'll touch on Eddie. So wait, what, what do you want to talk about, Eddie? I, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't like the way he died either. I mean, let's be real. Come on. That was pretty stupid. They went into a, a armory store, and they came out of there, and he became what Turok, and he shaved off and made a spear, and they got a garbage lid. He put some nails in it. It's the best you can do. You could give him a flamethrower, a fucking hairspray, and a lighter. Well, Eddie and anything. Hopper, years Hopper old. had the flamethrower. Flame flame I know he had a, he had a flamethrower. At least it did Hopper. I mean, you couldn't give him anything else. A machete. Everybody there is in the wilderness. They like, live in the wilderness. No one has a chainsaw. No one in their garage has a chainsaw. So your plan against a big thing of gigantic bats is not to go out there with a fucking spear. Chainsaw. Ah, you, ah, to you, be you, honest. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go out. So if you're a writer, hold on. If you're a writer, I'm just, strip, <laughs> imagine imagine all these expert writers, actors, they, they look at you that. <laughs> Jake's on. Okay, uh, school, you, come you on. But, no, I think, was really but then he's telling he tell me Hold about What was uh, really logic. stupid is the fact that all these kids are getting guns. That's what like, what? These kids are all. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand that part either. Guns. They're just walking in there, but let me get that shot. You, guns. <laughs> you know, remember the, the jock kid that went out there with a revolver? <laughs> <laughs> he just bought it right there. Hey, let me get that revolver I, right I there. Will, I will say, <laughs> for, how, for, how good, for how good their writing is, thing, I was like, what? for how good their writing is and how good the characters are. That kid was like, come on, he was like a killer. He's like a kid in high school. And he's going out oh, there, well, he's killing he really people. He loved that girl. He really yeah. loved that girl. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. He was oh fucking God. madly in love. Holy shit. Yeah, that, that didn't make any sense. Yeah, like, I'm talking about the Things guns. Didn't he so just, well they're just him. grabbing guns. Why can't no, the other kids grab guns? I mean, what is a gun? I guess there's no law over there. No, no, no. Fucking yeah, uh, high school kid time. grabbing a gun. Sure <laughs> the sheriff is in, uh, is in Russia. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, sir, how you doing? Yeah, let me get that going. I don't have a license. <laughs> Thanks, bro. All right. But you don't think that Eddie was like the deaf? Like, you don't think you could have given him a better weapon? A machete, maybe? I mean, everybody has to have a machete. Oh, so your thing is to go out there and, ah, yeah, 500, <laughs> Man. thousand birds trying to or, eat or, or, some, or light it on fire. Something cool. You know they don't like fire. They know that the whole series. The thing is, you see like too, too many Arnold movies. You That's the problem. <laughs> So we're gonna put the mud on that, uh, like Predator, the mud. I mean, they might as well have just got the, the mini machine gun because they could probably buy it. You know? He grabbed the, he grabbed the that, gun. That would have been cool, right? He Help me out there. He grabbed it. He has like the chains uh, with the bullets. He grabbed a garbage yeah, can lid. That would have been A good. garbage yeah. can lid. Come on, man. It seems it seem ridiculous. <laughs> Stupid. You think about it that he left and he made it like 50 yards and then he stopped and then he looked back and then started fighting them in the middle of the street. 
It just it, it didn't make sense to me. It was, well, he was a good like, we gotta get rid of this character. Yeah, that, that, that was that was. It was very obvious. They just had. I to think kill they had to get rid of that character because that kid's in high school. And he doesn't. He's thirty five years old. <laughs> well, that's why they gotta get rid of him. To be he's honest with you, he's a Bro, repeat. People, hey, I don't care if you're a repeat or not. That guy looked like an adult. People began to love him in high school. No, he was actually a wonderful character. Yeah. Everybody loved him. Again, the only person I don't like in the show is Will. But everybody else is good. I hit that scene that he had with the guitar and, and the Metallica, that was that was an incredible scene in my opinion. That was one of the best scenes of the entire last oh, episode. Oh, yeah, if you like Metallica, boy. Master of Puppets, that's the name of the song. Uh, okay, so for the season, for me, that's one of the best seasons on a show I've ever seen. I give that... That, I give that show like an easy nine, nine and a half. But is I can't give it a 10 because the last 30 minutes was just stupid to me. But other than that, the whole season. Is it your favorite season out of the four? A hundred percent. That is my favorite season out of the four. Oh, it's one of my favorite seasons of all time of any show. I love rating? That's not good. What's your rating? Nine, nine, nine and a half. Nine out of 10. Uh, you know, I think that it was obviously incredible. I'll give it also a nine, nine and a half. Jack. 10. My bad. Call my face <clears throat> 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10, I give that season, bro. All right. I mean, I've watched the episode four at least 15 times I'm the- <laughs> with Kate Bush. Oh, yeah, classic, right? I still get goosebumps every time I see it. Running up the hill. Mm-hmm. All right. So for me, I'm there. Nine, nine and a half out of ten for the season. 100%. I mean, everything, everything from the acting, the writing, the 80s references all over, Back everything. to the Future, everything. everything. Uh, the, uh, what else? Little the things that they put in awesome. there, like little, like, you know, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, like those things that just, they're, they go perfect. And I think perfect. it definitely graduated to an adult show. All right, now that we discuss Stranger Things, we're going to talk about our top five shows of all time. My number five show is Ozarks. Ozarks? Uh, yeah. Why? Well, I like that show. Uh, it has to do a lot with, you know, what I do in my real life. Um, it has to do with money laundering, which is just, you know, fantastic subject. You love that stuff, huh? Uh, <laughs> it's also a show like The Boys that... No, uh, no. No, very, no. Very not. top heavy. No. With, I'm just I'm talking about the top heavy as far as the main person, Marty Bird. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I think that the family dynamic is very good. The lying, the cheating, the stealing. Uh, so, yeah, that's my number five. Jack, what's your number five? I mean... I would go probably with Dexter. I like Dexter as number five. I don't know if you're familiar with the show. Probably not. <clears throat> That's actually my number five as well. Dexter? Yeah. Oh, I love Dexter. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're not and too I familiar think with that, huh? You guys are the detectives? <laughs> Man. Well, he's a detective slash uh, serial killer. I got to give it. I, I mean, the ending sucked for that show, and then they did a restart yeah. with a new blood, but... Dexter, man, season. Yeah, Dexter was good. Two, I, was, I was at one three, point four. like all over it until like, like the last season, I was like, ah, I'm done. You know what I mean? Like the last season, it was just like, oh yeah, it's the same shit. It almost gets yeah, caught, yeah. but then he doesn't get caught. You know what I mean? But yeah. it, overall, that show to me is in my top five. Yeah, I have that one as my number five as well, surprisingly. You mm-hmm. got the, the Dex? Oh. Really yeah, we got the Dex. What's up? What's up, Mo? Maurice yeah. is here, by the For way. For me, I mean, this is really just a preference thing. So you guys probably, I don't know if you even watched it yet, but Vikings on, on Hulu. Oh, I want to um, watch that. I respect that. My, I hear a lot of people love that show. Sh- he likes it. Tony likes it. If you guys like it, Tony likes it. If I like it, it's tremendo mierda. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, keep on. You know, it's, it's a you know that, that show in itself is great, especially the first four to five seasons were just incredible, in my opinion. Uh-huh. My number four like show. Bank Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> number four. My number four show. He's, he's, he's like, damn, good. God, it's a good show, man. Is, this, is it Star Wars? My show. Ah, it sucks, darling. Is it Star Wars? Um, number four. No, it's a current show that is right now probably the hottest show besides Stranger Things. It's called Succession. And I love it. Let me explain why. A couple things. Number one, it's also one that has a lot of great characters. Logan Roy, his kids, and all the whole dynamic of them trying to take over. But, but we said, <coughs> My number we four? said of all time. Yeah, that's just number four of all that time. That show's going to be an all-time show. Okay. It I mean, is. going to be or is it? It already is. For me, you're, number for you're me. top four. Yeah, that's yeah. his number four. You're four. For, it's, hold on a second. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I'm mm. not asking you what's your top four. You said, <laughs> it's, you said it's going to be. No, it is. It, no, it is my in my well, top five. Right now, oh, you're okay. Yeah. And I top five, yeah. and it is already an all time show. Oh, hundred. Yeah, you looked it up. You looked at like a top five or top. Yeah, 10 I looked favorite it up. Shows and where was, was it? What's your? What's number your? Four. Where? No, no, no. Where was it? Awesome. What's your? What's your fucking number four? <laughs> hey, I don't know the toss up. It's a toss up. All right, so number. Now jump to number four. He my, just said, oh, he you said, said okay, it. so now I'll jump to me. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. Yeah, go for it. So my number four is I'm putting Stranger Things there. 
That's my number four. Mm-hmm. I don't have to discuss anything else. Mm-hmm. That's where it goes for me. Top five. Um, yeah, I forgot that's that. number four for me of all time. I love that show. I forgot that one. All right. Where do you want your number four? Uh, for me, my number four show is probably another show that you guys probably haven't watched. is Power. Um, mm. I loved every single, like every the, the first Power, and then every book after that has been incredible. Who that's the 50 that show? Cent show, right? Yeah. He's produced that is, it, right? That's the 50 Cent show? Yes, yes. That's the 50 Cent G-Unit show. G-Unit shoes. I used to have them. G-Unit shoes? Well, like if you watch, they have so Does he many even have shoes. Yeah. No, but that, that story. What's that story about again? The- it, it's about this <laughs> basically this family in, in New York. It's a crime family. Yeah, I, I actually saw a, a couple of like uh, little things here and there. Like yeah. it actually yeah. looks pretty dope, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does. And, and exactly. Have- uh, exactly what Succession is. It's, it's literally it's no, based on I a think real. Powers a little bit better. Oh, the anyway, power yeah. Yes. Better. Right, yeah. So, <laughs> my my top four. <clears throat> uh, I would say The Walking Dead. Even though, you know, like the last maybe three seasons were like a little bit, you know, stupid. But I think everybody has to agree when they, you know, watched the first couple seasons of Walking Dead. I think everybody and their mothers were into that. What's your third? Come on. Bring it on. I want to recourse one thing. Uh, Please leave this in. Um, Ozark and Ozark and Stranger Thing are really close for me. So it's, it's a tough one. That one is a tough one for me. Yeah, but what's your third though? My third <laughs> is uh, Game of Thrones. All right, I can't wait to hear number one. That yeah, was actually that was actually my third too. <clears throat> That's my third. You know, I mean, Game of Thrones. Man, is probably I feel like a friends like almost today. <laughs> so uh, we got uh, something in common, dog. Man, three. Finally. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> if they see if the people see like the un, uncut version, they'll be like, "Jesus Christ!" <laughs> you guys fucking hate each other. Yeah, all right, all right. So, Game of Thrones is one of the best shows ever made. Game changer. Uh, it was a game, game changer. changer as far as budget and size and magnitude of the show. Uh, acting as well, very good. Writing, very awesome. The way it ended sucked. Uh, my number three is Daredevil. I I love that show. For as far as superhero shows go, I I cannot forget what Daredevil did for superhero TV shows. That 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 show was incredible. From you like the Frank. Punisher more? No, I had three seasons, and the best season is two with the Punisher in it. So I have to have Daredevil there for me. A number three, I just love that show. I mean, he's so it was so good that they had to add him into the MCU. It was good. It was a good show. I'm not gonna lie, but top three. five, no, maybe like top twenty for me or something like that. Cunio. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Top twenty. I would love to hear the other fucking nineteen. I rather really watch Friends <laughs> than that. Oh wow! Friends. <laughs> shit. Um, oh, I hate that show. <laughs> my my uh my third favorite uh, show of all time would is probably gonna be end up being Stranger Things. My number two, all time classic, Breaking Bad. I like Breaking Bad because I like. Did you really Google the top? Best five. And no, no, no. I, I literally watched. No, I watched. No, no, no. I, I, I watched the whole thing. My number two as well. You didn't watch the whole thing. I guarantee you did not I watch, watch the whole thing. Yeah, he, he saw Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. I saw the, the whole, whole season. five seasons. Five or six. It was five. 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 I watched the whole thing. And let me tell you something. You watch that show. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Though, you, know? <laughs> you watch that show. I guarantee you, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. He seen it. He saw him. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So um, we watched it together. Me and I watch it and talk about it. I like. I like Breaking Bad. That's like an honorable mention. That's what brothers do. We watch things together. Yeah. I had a long ass list of things we done together. <laughs> All right, so Breaking Bad was number two for you. Breaking Bad, yeah. I mean, come on, uh, Walter White, all time classic <clears throat> character. Hank was man, wow, bro. What a, what a relationship. What acting between them two. Writing, uh, Jesse Pinkman, as well. Jesse Pinkman, Aaron Paul. But also too, you get to learn about how we have a drug pandemic and all that in this country. Right. You see how it's done. Um, I thought some of the the villains were very good too. Uh, what's the poor local guy? Yeah, so I was going to say that that was the introduction. That was our introduction to that guy who is now we ended up seeing him in the boys and, and the a boys. few other things as well. I haven't seen Better Call Saul, but I want to see. I want to <laughs> see Better Call Saul. Um, Better Call Saul is a, is a great spinoff. Yeah, and Saul is man. That guy's so funny in that show. Uh, uh, my number two is yeah. is Game of Thrones. So you already touched on it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's the biggest show. It was probably the most. I mean, it set the bar for everybody else. Hey, look, we're not fucking around no more. You know, this is the budget reporting out here. Maurice. Yeah, for me, uh, the same thing. Breaking Bad. Jack. Um, it's a it's a toss up, honestly, as my number two. But I'm not gonna put it in there because you know we've, you know, we kind of discussed and everybody kind of agrees that the 
it's a something new in the sense of like you know you never see superheroes in a bad version, which would be the boys. But I don't consider the boys. I don't want to put it in my top five. You can if you want. It's a, I want to put my number two as the monk. I want to put the monk. I mean, it's, it's, real. it's obviously it's something different. You know, a lot of people are not really familiar with that show. But to me, I've watched the seasons twice. Literally watched them twice. It's a classic. It's a classic. I remember when you guys were younger, you used to watch that. And I still do. All the time. Yeah, yeah. and he, he did win. He got nominated for Emmys, and he did. I think he did win one. It was he Emmys. Won. He won. No, he's a good actor, that guy. Um, all right. Number one. My number one show is The Walking Dead. Okay? It's the same thing for me. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the Walking Dead season one to me is probably... I mean, it's not the greatest season ever in any show. It's definitely up there. Definitely. It was directed, and the showrunner was Frank Darabont, the guy who did Shawshank Redemption, Green Mile, and The Mist, which The Mist is really good, man. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, the Mist wasn't that good of a movie. It was, was good, but it wasn't that good. No, uh-huh. it was a small film, but it kicked ass, though. Good? It wasn't it was, that it good. It was super underrated, though. Which is good. It wasn't like a show, a, I like a movie that you'd be like, oh, my God, let's watch it again type of shit. Like, that's it. One time... I consider that guy as just stay in the Punisher movie. And <laughs> the Thomas Punisher Shane. guy to me, all right? <laughs> okay. Well, I thought the movie was great. So You, you want to know a crazy fact? But that guy's all time. A uh, crazy fact is that I have that as my number one as well, Walking Dead. So Breaking Bad was averaging on its final season four to five million viewers per episode. Walking Dead was doing like 10 to 15 million season four through five through six. That's how big that show was. Like I said, everybody and their mothers Walking watched that Walking Dead show. was the fucking biggest cable network show yeah. ever. <clears throat> everybody. That's crazy. Those were kind of like the dead years, too. The, the, the season 5, season 6, season 7. Yeah, and they were still doing 10, 15 million. And that show, uh, Breaking Bad, as good as it was, season 5 was at 4 or 5 average. Season 1 or 2 were like at 1 or 2 million only viewership. Just to show you how big The Walking Dead was. Yeah, I mean, it's gotten a little bit fucking of a mess lately, but... Yeah, yeah you can't take away like the, the six last, seasons yeah. of craziness that was going on. No, it was super dope. I don't know, that, but that show was super dope. To me, that opening shot of Rick walking alone in the middle of the street in Georgia, yeah. and then he's just walking like I mean, that's that's Frank Darabont. He's a master director. Yeah, so. they put like a big Hollywood director there. I never forget that. I actually saw the first episode ever on a Halloween night. Never forget that shit. It was the first episode ever. Nice. You I told my it. wife, hey, look, I'm going to go. It starts at 9 o'clock. I got to watch the show. It's like, what should I do? Zombies. Everybody loves zombies doing back it. I remember everybody being like, oh, I got to go watch The Walking Dead. I got to go home. Like, bro, we're doing something important here. Fuck that shit. Let's go watch yeah. it. Walking Dead. Even the talk show that came after yeah, even had more show. viewers than fucking Breaking Bad, which is crazy. Oh, and those were in the days That's where crazy. you had to wait, watch it the week of. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> All right. What's your number one? Yes, that was my number one, one as well. I shared it with Danny. Yeah. My number one is Game of Thrones, 100%. To me, even okay. in, even though the last se- two seasons weren't as good as the first, you know, uh, four to five, they were still, to me, they were still great. They still surpass a lot of uh, uh, shows that you see now. And to me, it was still incredible. It wasn't the, it wasn't the ending that everybody wanted, but I think it was still a great ending. You're going to watch House of Dragons for sure. Then. I'm going to watch House of, House of Dragons. I think it was a good period of wait time they did there. You know, yeah. let everybody get like, okay, look, we fucked up. Let's. Yeah, and they start coming yeah. out now with House of Dragons. They come out <laughs> with the other shows as well. They come out, you know, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, my number one was something, again, that, you know, never been seen. This, the first two seasons were amazing. The last season was just outstanding. It had to be Stranger Things. That has to be my number one. When a show gives me goosebumps. Season four was amazing. Yeah, yeah when they, the show gave me goosebumps. Like, almost every episode, it was just like, yeah, I couldn't yeah. sleep at night. I, watched, I can't even I watched, argue. I literally I, watched. I'm not kidding you. I watched five episodes. I was up to, like, four in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah, no, to stop. I, 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 I got to take out. It, it, it wasn't a show that, that put me to sleep at all or like drowsy. No, it was like that the whole fucking time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're talking about yeah. some of the best writers probably on the show. Like mm-hmm. The Duffy Brothers, when it's all said and done. Those guys there were so many different plots and they all came amazing. together. And every one. character, you I love can't even argue every that. fucking character mm-hmm. except for Will. Right? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> every fucking character I love. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for me... Yeah. Uh yeah, I'm taking out Ozark, but put Stranger Things. I think you gotta push Stranger Things over Ozark because yeah. you have Breaking Bad already too, and Breaking Bad and Ozark. Even though they're Ozark. not the same, but they kind of have that same vibes, you know. 
drug Bro, dealers chasing Ozark? them. No, I love Ozark too, but to me, it's 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 they got too, too slow boring. to not be as good as, as Stranger boring, Things. Though. Yeah, it's Stranger Things boring. is just too much too much going on at the same. So many plots, you have to be attentive to it. To, and, and to is, me, for a show to be all time, it has to have a lot of good stories right. going on yeah, 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 at right. once. That's the thing, bro. Yeah. Every and Stranger Things story, has that. Yeah. everybody's story is good. <laughs> Obi Wan had none of that. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it was like no good stories. Miss <laughs> Marvel's a good show to sleep on. Miss Marvel. Oh, 100%. Did you I'll say that. Marvel? I heard I, they go to I, Pakistan. I started Miss Marvel. I mean, it's definitely a kid's show. Slash, uh, they did well. <laughs> Aruba. <laughs> what? They did well with what they had. But what? It's Ms. a kid's show. It's a kid's show. Not even kids yeah. are watching that shit. Nah, no, it's, it's, it's actually, show. it's, 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 it's taking number one. Oh, they're, they're it's number taking. One, no, it's yeah. taking. They can't even reach four hundred thousand really? views on episode. They're taking. Yeah, they're really you know, I'm surprised taking. those people are actually watching. The people are watching. They're just like, uh, there's a bunch of kids here. Okay, okay, we're I'm so I'm gonna they just finish put this show on their kids. All right, all right, we're leaving. And the kids are like, ah, what the fuck am I watching? Any honorable <laughs> mentions for shows? You know which one I want to throw in there? One piece. An honorable the mention. One Piece one. That's why I'm dying. No, I'm saying like as shows that I loved. Oh, I and I think it's if they would have had three great seasons, I would have put it in. But they only had two. Was Arrow. God, you know what? I, I fucking Arrow loved season. Arrow, Arrow season and two. And the Flash right? two was actually pretty good in the beginning for like two three seasons. And yeah, like I said, I wanted to put the that's boys, still the best. That's still the best fucking um, Deathstroke we've had on live action. Man, two seasons of writing with like him training him, and then season two like him becoming that the big awesome. bad. Man, it was so awesome. Like you mm. could tell the writers set up two whole seasons. He was killing people the whole show. Then season three came along. Oh, let's tone it down. Yeah, let's not kill anymore. Let's bring in a, yeah. other superhero. He, he came let's out bring there, in the girl. He and came out speed. there like a, a real vigilante to then just being Man. like. You can never, man. Me, yeah. me and, and Derek and, and never we used to call him. Call him. Did you see that? I can't believe that. Yeah, I remember. The mom, he killed the mom. It, I was just, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> show was. My dad. <laughs> I got to give credit to Arrow. They really did set up something like incredible. Without Arrow, you wouldn't have the Daredevil. You wouldn't have all those shows because Arrow was the first one to do it successfully. And they kind of. Wanted to be that Dark Knight themes. Yeah. God, man, for a CW that. show, they went fucking hard. Yeah. I'm starting to remember like Laurel and... and, and God, and, yeah, bro, that show was so yeah. good. It just season it was, three became a piece of shit. Yeah, after... Yeah. after <sighs> first, and again, like I mentioned, the boys, something that, you know, you never see, you haven't That's seen a villain. Mention. Yeah, you haven't seen really a villain, like villains, how they really would be. You know, you never know. They could right. probably be as bad as these people are with so much power. But I didn't put it in my top five because I kind of felt like... You know, these other shows, to me, in my opinion, are better. But if we had, like, a top six, the boys would be in there for sure. But it's true what Danny said. Like, at the end of the day, the boys is, like... It's a joke it's, show. It's, it's, it's a like, jokeful show, exactly. But it's cool. Blood, uh, if they didn't have, like he said, if they didn't have all that stupidity shit, you know, with the whole dick thing and all that, it would be even of a better show, even though I still give it 10 out of a 10, you know what I mean, in that end. But the fact that, you know, it's, like, something completely different, you know? You haven't seen yeah, yeah. that. You haven't seen a, a, a show that superheroes are killing people. Yeah. You know, which is dope, yeah. which is pretty it's cool. definitely what superheroes would be. I mean, I'm not I think so, too. If I was like, uh, yeah, I'm not saying I'm going to kill people. Yeah, if you were a homeland. But if I was a homeland, there ain't nobody telling me what to fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> ain't fucking telling me what to do. Yeah, but if you notice a common trend between all of our shows, all of the main characters, the main the main guy is, or, or woman, is... Uh, is a what? <laughs> It's, it's, it's impressive. He's is the best it, one. It, no, they're, they're the best actor, the, be, the best character. Because to me, the Game of Thrones, the main one to me, there really isn't a main one, but the main one to me is. Uh, Elysis? Jon Snow. No, Jon Snow? Not really. No, no, to me, the one that really. Peter oh, Dinklage? Peter Dinklage. Yeah, he's great he, actor. He hell of an actor. is. A that guy big was a reason the show is good. Yeah, yeah. Didn't he win awards or, or, oh, or yeah. anything? Oh, yeah. He, he did, awards. right? I mean, I'm I'm sure he won yeah. All over the place. Yeah, he yeah, actually yeah, he, No, he was, I think he was most favored in the show, I believe. Him and then uh, Jon Snow. The only, the only reason why favorites. I wouldn't ma- name him like the main guy is because the first couple of seasons he was really just drunk. Nobody. Yeah, he was a nobody, exactly. Nobody. Jon but, Snow from the jump was, was you know. Yeah, but, but Jon Snow. Acting wise, acting wise, that guy did a. But Jon Snow is so like. Just, I like he's just a ladies guy, bro. The, girls, guy. the girls are the ones that actually he's like uh, want him on screen. That's it. He's a good, good looking guy. He's yeah. on the screen, and the girls love it. You know what I mean? Just like if if you were on TV, I'm sure you know the girls would love you. No, yeah. <clears throat> definitely. <clears throat> you want to um, want to wrap it up? You're gonna or? cut that fucking part out. I swear <laughs> to God, fucking God damn it! That shit's not no, cut the mention. fuck out. I'll oh, fuck you want to do an honorable mention, Danny? <laughs> or you want to do yours? Yeah. Uh, my honorable mention. You guys probably there's another preference one. You guys probably watch is The Last Kingdom. On Netflix. Oh, so, my God. Super yeah. dope. It was one of the best shows I've ever watched. Yeah. 
good, good Viking show. show. It's another Viking show. It's oh, you. Okay. Like I know you. Are you Norway? Are you? Yeah. No, I just you know I just I, I love those type of shows and, and Last Kingdom for good me. Good show. It's like Woo! to me, it's like right under Vikings, right under the Game of Thrones, Vikings, and then you like then, uh, all the Viking shows. You put so you like a lot of Viking shows. Yeah. Wait, do, wait, yeah. hold on. Being real, out of all the Viking shows, you put Game Last of Thrones. Well, I, I know it's not Vikings. So you put Vikings ahead of Last Kingdom then? No, but last, oh, King, yeah. last but a lot of people put Last Kingdom. Over, right? like, like, last Kingdom looks like you know General Hospital. No, you know, it's not the Hallmark movie. You King, really you gotta know. watch it. Tell They're me. like, hey, how are you, uh, lady? No, no, the one, the, the Northman. He puts the it's actually, it's actually more gruesome. You haven't seen the Northman yet, huh? God. I watched the Northman. But how, they, how are they in the Last Kingdom? Because I see like no, the Last Kingdom like, is gruesome. The last Kingdom is not, not a joke either. It's, it's Netflix. It's a great show. Yeah. It's a Netflix show. It's a great show. What's your honorable mention? I already said it. Yeah, he said the boys. The boys, the boys man. For, and for me, what you want to mention? Nip Tuck? No, not Nip Tuck. Um, Motherfucker used to watch all the time. I, 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 all the time. That was his favorite show. He wanted to become a plastic surgeon. He told me, yes. I want to become a plastic surgeon. Yeah, man. I love Nip Tuck. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. love, they love that show. I remember you love that show. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember you used to love to see the tits. I wasn't. All right, my honorable man is so stupid. So fucking stupid. Um, he stopped you that. <laughs> man, we're gonna get canceled. Um, I don't know. I just all the shows I've watched have been the last. Like, I mean, you just took out Ozark, so that's gotta be honorable. Nah, it's there. Um, the yeah, Ozark is in. It didn't end good. Narcos was forget. It fell off a cliff. Really? Uh, that bad? Yeah. I remember you Narcos like that one too. No, they put Bad Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Bad Bunny and I'm like. <laughs> In real life, those guys will extort Bad Bunny. I guarantee if, if they really now make a movie, or they, they are making a movie about Bad Bunny, but I'm <laughs> sure right now his his album is so no, famous. And, and they, put, they put Migos. They put also the rappers, Migos. And I was like, why they do that? So they fucked show? up Narcos. You What's saw Narcos, right? I tell you, Maurice boy, Maurice did a lot of shows. Yeah, I watched it. <laughs> Maurice did a lot of shows. Yeah, a lot of Narcos, oh, Narcos to me, Narcos Mexico wasn't bad the first season. The first season was good. Then, and then it, yeah, it's just shitty after that. Yeah. Mariska did a top 20. Right. <laughs> 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 you can't do it. <laughs> you got to do top 5 and do top 20. I'm missing like fucking 18. I started the Vikings because he, he recommended it to me. I started and I was like, I, I did like That's four or five you episodes. Besides, I started I st- the Vikings show. I started, I started Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders? Yeah, but that show too, I have some issues with it too. It's good. It's, it's good, slow, but, but it's good for the first two to three seasons. And then after that, it gets real slow. And oh, you know what I want to put in there? Fuck, bro. Um, Prison Break. No, lost. No, no, pr- pr- hold on, time out. Prison break. If you would have told me, dope. if you would have told me, hey, let's no. do this new show with the with the, with the people. All of us are dead. No, no the dead. No, no. no. Uh, uh, bro. Uh, oh, but it only has one uh, Squid Games. Yeah, but yeah, but it only has one season though. I guess. Look, I would, I would. If you were to tell me what's Squid the best Squid season of a show you've ever seen, the best season of a show. Surprisingly, I'll put Prison Break because season one of Prison Break was was fucking incredible. Season two was stupid. It was 24 episodes of just every episode was like, oh, nail uh, biting. uh, 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 The only problem was. It was so fucking good. Prison Break just became like. All right, they're in jail again. Yeah. All right, what's gonna happen? Yeah, but the the only first, season, right. after the second season, we went yeah. to jail again. Like, Not even after the first like, season. You weren't even worried anymore. They weren't on your yeah. season. Like, He's gonna get out. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 You know. Right. God, but season one was so yeah, good. It was. It was. No, yeah, I was watching good movies then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> guys, thanks for tuning in. Another episode here. Uh, and uh, like and subscribe. We always enjoy the comments as well. <laughs> um, and we're out of here. Thanks.